Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna show you how to first of all boost your FPS and Horizon for Ridden West. Also, we're gonna talk about image quality in this game. So, what are the best settings for Horizon for Ridden West? Um, and yeah, let's start with PS5 settings. So let's go to your settings first of all. Go to your screen and video video output. So the first one is the resolution. Um, really depend normally at automatic you will not have an issue i saw a couple of people having issue with some tv models that for a reason that they don't know like it was uh default at 1080p when you can do 4k so if you want to make sure that you're doing your 4k just select your 4k resolution after that your 4k video transfer rate normally just go automatic uh i'm using minus two because i'm using a capture card and i need to compress my uh, transfer rate to make sure that uh, it's working with my uh, my capture card. I really, really hope that they're gonna <laughs> release new capture card with HDMI 2.1 because right now it's kind of the pain in the ass. I don't have my proper settings on my LG C1 OLED when I'm using the capture card. But anyway, so if you have an issue to capture your game, it's probably because of that, put minus two. Uh, after that, HDR, I really recommend to use the on when supported. This is a new feature that they put like six months ago on the PS5. So uh, before you just add like the off and the always on. So now you can use the on when supported. Um, deep color output. So this one, if you're struggling with your HDR, you don't understand, you don't have HDR when you're playing a game, it's probably because of this one. So first of all, make sure in your, in your PS5, it's at automatic. But also make sure that your deep color output is activated on all your HDMI. I had this issue on my other uh, TV, uh, LG OLED C7, and I plugged the PS5 on the HDMI 4, and by default, the deep color output was at off, so I didn't have any HDR, so super important to activate this. HD, uh, RGB range just stay at automatic and the enable 120 Hertz output. Make sure this one also is at automatic. If you want the 4K 120 Hertz, you need a HDMI 2.1. So a lot of TV now on the market has uh, those uh, input, but super important to use uh, them and make sure also that you're using the PS5 cable or another HDMI 2.1 cable. So this is pretty much it with the setting for the PS5. Now let's go in the game. So in the game, we're going to go to settings, visual. So the first one is the graphic mode. You have two modes in this game. You, you don't have three. Uh, we saw that in a couple of games right, right now on the PS5. But in this game right now, you just have three, uh, two. Sorry. So the favorite performance is pretty much a 60 FPS uh, mode. Um, it will lower your resolution and it, it, it's a bummer right now. I see a lot of aliasing in the uh, foliage. So they have some issue with it. Uh, everything is kind of like moving some Jagger also. And when you go with the favor resolution, it's a lot better. I feel like they're doing a, a lot a better job, but you're playing at 30. And honestly, I can't really play a game right now at 30 FPS. It's too slow, too laggy. So it really depends. Uh, if you don't care about the 30, I really recommend to go with the favor resolution. Uh, it will help a lot with the foliage and you just have like foliage everywhere in this game. And also you have the favor performance. I don't know if you're gonna patch it. I know um, for Resolve Reason 5, um, had this kind of issue on the PC and they released a patch for it. The foliage was really bad. Uh, don't, no, don't know if they're going to improve it. But anyway, this is pretty much what you can do right now. Another thing that I recommend is just disable motion blur. I really don't like this effect. Um, it, you will have a, a better image quality with motion blur at off. And also, if you don't like those camera shake when you're playing the game uh, with your when you're just running and stuff, or even underwater, uh, you have two options here that you can put at off. You can just remove the camera shake, and again, you will feel that your image are much more clearer. But you will lose a little bit the immersion of the camera shake. So it really depends if you want to remove it or activate it. So this is pretty much, guys, for my guide. If you have any question about the game or even your TV, just post in the YouTube section, um, in the comment section, post me your TV, the model of your TV. It will help me a lot to uh, help you. Um, and that's about it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.